booster engine gimbal now underway. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94 percent. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104 percent. We'll throttle down to 65 uh, percent shortly. Engines at 65 percent. Three engines uh, running normally. Three good fuel cells. Three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3 nautical miles. Engines throttling up. Three engines now at 104 percent. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity 2,900 feet per second. Altitude 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 7 nautical miles. carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink. The actual vehicle breakup was essentially obscured from view by the vapor cloud which abruptly enveloped the vehicle. Hundreds of fragments were noted exiting the ET cloud. Those identified included the shuttle main engines, the left wing, crew cabin, and both SRBs. Approximately one second after initial breakup, film showed the front segment of the orbiter emerging from the cloud. The nose, crew cabin, and a portion of the cargo bay make up the orbiter in this view. Nitrogen tetroxide oxidizer from the forward reaction control system provided a distinctive orange-brown color to the cloud. By 74.578 seconds, a yellow cloud or flash was visible near the orbiter nose segment. This is believed to be caused by burning monomethyl hydrazine from the forward RCS. The flash reaction from the RCS propellants abated, revealing separation of the nose section from the crew cabin. Less than a quarter of a second later, the crew cabin was noted to be severed from the cargo bay. Igniting of propellant discharge continued to be observed from the forward RCS. A camera south of the launch pad recorded a wider array of debris exiting the vapor cloud. The initial emergence of the crew cabin from this perspective was at 75.237 seconds. The initial path of the crew cabin from the vapor cloud carried it across the path of an adjacent contrail clearly revealing its truncated form and attitude. The left wing became visible at 78.531 seconds. The main engines and crew cabin are also identifiable. After 10 seconds, the crew cabin was seen again with the front end and top of the cabin visible. 
As the subject moved further away and dropped lower on the horizon, the quality of the image for visual analysis deteriorated rapidly.